My name is Christina Bobrowski. We're here with Breezeway Productions for the Brooklyn Film Festival. We're going to talk to the filmmakers, get to know their perspective, why they're here, and what films they brought. Uh, stay tuned for more. We're here at the Brooklyn Film Festival in Greenpoint, New York. We're here with James Babiri. Is that how you say that? James Babiri for Forgive Me Father. I loved your film. I love how you're the hero. And you made this on your own. No. Yes. Uh, it's a, it's a uh, completely independent film. Um, group of friends basically got together. We all sort of put in some money and we decided we're just going to shoot a movie. Um, all the actors are basically friends, outside of a few exceptions. Um, the lead girl, Hannah, um, I met through a friend, but um, you know, most of the actors are friends. Everybody sort of helped chip in with uh, locations and you know, props and set decoration, and it really was uh, a, a group effort, so to speak. So I uh, couldn't have done it. Couldn't have done it alone. This was your directorial debut. Yes, uh, my feature. I had done one other short. I've been an actor for 35 years, a uh, working actor, I've been doing that for many years and uh, this story has been sort of on my mind for about 20 years. It was sort of inspired by, by, by true events uh, growing up in Bronx, New York as a kid and um, it's something I, I really felt compelled to tell for years and I finally said, you know what, it's now or never and I sat down and I, uh, I wrote the script and uh, I said, we're going to shoot it. And we got some money and we started shooting it and we shot it on weekends and uh, we just got it done. It, I love I loved it. I truly did. I love that uh, it has a re it has religion in it. It has depth to it. Um, so you played the action hero. So I'm sure this was a dream role for you. It, it was definitely a dream role. Um, you know, he's an anti-hero. You know, the, the character. Um, when I was writing it, I really had some ideas about um, the themes of it. And to me, the themes being, you know, redemption, um, revenge. You know. Uh, the idea of uh, you know childhood trauma, how that affects people sometimes for for decades and uh, sometimes for the rest of their lives, and uh, I really tried to incorporate all of that uh, into the script. So I, I hope you know, I hope they enjoy it. Yeah, no, it was a great topic because the, people forget about these things. It goes into the the secret darkness, and then we need people like you to to bring that message back, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's actually a very timely, and uh, I think just recently something came out in the news. Uh, I forget where in Minnesota, somewhere they, they found some, you know, uh, abuse uh, um, uh, with children uh, in the clergy, and um, you know, it's a very sad situation. I think uh, you know somebody asked me uh, um, why I made this movie, and um, you know, one of the ideas for me is that you know, to me, children have always been precious. You know, they're innocent, and uh, when I when I hear you know things about kids getting abused, um, you know, it really uh, is something that um, I, uh, I think is uh, just horrible and uh, needs to be addressed. What do you want your audience to leave with after watching this film? Wow, that's a great question, Christine. Um, you know, I never thought about that. I never uh, made the film with that uh, in mind, really. Um, I think people are going to feel different things. and uh, I. Uh, I think what I'd like them to leave with is maybe the, uh, uh, an awareness of, of that this still goes on, you know, and it has long-lasting effects. I think that's what I'd like the audience to leave with. We're here with Hannah Lauer from Forgive Me Father. How are you doing, Hannah? I'm doing good. A little excited and nervous, but good. Uh, I loved your film. Thank you. Your character had a great arc, and, uh, you know, the domestic violence for me was a big big thing. Yeah. Um, how did you prepare for that role? I'm an actor, mm -hmm. uh, emotionally and I guess through the script, uh, through words. Yeah, so um, I, um, I just really focused in on what Melinda, my character, was going through at that very moment in relation to um, the antagonist, my abuser, or the character's abuser, and um, just really try to focus, because it's, it's, it's a semi-romantic relationship, but it's only hinted at a little bit, but for the most part, um, it was more so of like a drug dealer sort of like uh, situation as well, so um, I 
try to focus more on that rather than it being a romantic relationship. Um, but, you know, just making sure that I was mentally prepared for those scenes because sometimes they can take a toll. Um, and just making sure that, you know, at the end of the day, you kind of brush it all off. And, um, you know, really making sure that I also honor like you know like make sure that I focus on myself rather than like you know like oh this is a terrible thing that's like you know happening to me like more so of like um, I'm going through this you know like very more like character uh, focused rather than like you know plot. No it makes a lot of sense it's to take it home is the biggest thing right it's too much. Yeah. No it's yeah it's definitely a little bit too much. Um, I uh, yeah I I've I know some friends who have like dealt with it in the past and um, you know it's just it's a very tricky uh, subject to go through and make sure that um, you know you're doing justice yeah doing justice and making sure that it's giving out the right message rather than glorifying anything um, because I think that's what sometimes happens in movies and shows is glorifying abuse um, but yeah, trying my best not to do that. Well, you did great. It was very, it was very subtle, and I loved, I loved the waves and energy. Uh, that's how I follow performances. Um, how was the audition process for this film? Um, so it's actually very interesting because I got um, the audition through uh, my friend Don, who's one of the producers, and we're actually on a pool team together like billiards pool, um, yeah, which was uh, pretty cool. He knew, he knew I was an actor and we like, you know, got to know each other over a few years because yeah, we played pool in the league and um, he just asked me like, you know, can't promise you anything but I can get you an audition if you'd like and so I auditioned and you know, James really connected with me and um, then it just kind of went from there, yeah. How you doing, Don? I'm doing good, it's great to be here. This is Don Close from Forgive Me Father. How was producing this film? What were some challenges? What were some exciting moments? <laughs> oh, challenges. Um, no money. That's number one. Uh, getting everybody to do us favors. Uh, you know, trying to make a movie in general is just tough. You know, when you don't have any money, it's ten times tougher. But we have a lot of friends. Everybody did this. All the actors are friends of ours. Um, they gave us their time all the crew. I've known Jimmy for 35 years. I've done eight movies with him. Wow. Yeah, so we go way back. And uh, the other producers I've known for at least 20 years. It was, it was a product of love. And Jimmy wrote it. He came to me and said, I got no money. Can you help me? I said, I'm in. So we made it. How long did this take to produce and film? Uh, Pre-production was four months. Production, we only shot on weekends, so it took us like four months to shoot that. And then we had uh, a week of pickups after editing started. So, and then, and then post was another four months because we had to raise money. So it was, it took over a year. Wow, I love the product, it's a great product. And you were AD also, you said? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I've directed uh, many films and then Jimmy wanted to direct this one. He asked me to uh, stay alongside him as AD, I said yeah. So I was the AD, I produced it, and I, I, I was one of the cops. I had like three scenes, so it was fun. Oh, so you're an actor too? Yeah, I started out as an actor. All my films I act in. I do a little little scene here and there, you know. You know as somebody said, I have a lot of chutzpah, so I gotta be in front of the camera, so. <laughs> you look good, Dan, you look good. We're with Santo Fazio from Forgive Me Father. How you doing, Santio? Good, a little hot, but can't wait to go in and watch the film, you know what I mean? I'm doing good. It's summertime. <laughs> yes, it is. Summertime in New York, so, you know. And you got some nice hair. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Thank you. It'll get frizzy now. <laughs> you look good now, but you were very scary in this movie. Oh, you saw the film? I did. Oh, what'd you think? I think, uh, you know, you you were one of the villains. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The how, bad guy. How was, it playing, how was it playing a bad guy? Well, listen. Look at me. It's been the story of my, you know, my, my uh, you know, I'm, I'm always playing. That's okay. Leave that. Thank you. I'm always Thank playing you, villain. Man. No, it was, uh, you know, it was good. I mean, it moves the story along. I mean, to create the chaos and the obstacles in the movie is kind of, you know, 
It's fun. I actually had some empathy for you, so I believe you did a great job oh, acting. Wow, thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Thank you. How do you shake that character at the end of the day? You know, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. You're still with it? No, you, just, you shake it off. You know what I mean? You, you go to work. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the next thing, you know, type of thing. How did you audition for this? Well, I was fortunate enough to know Jimmy for a while. So he came to me with the project. Yeah, so uh, I was very fortunate that way. Yeah. Doesn't happen often. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Are you a full-time actor for a uh, long time? Well, yeah, I've been doing it for a very long time, you know, so, you know. What else can we see you in upcoming or in the past? Something well, you'd like to... Upcoming, I'll, uh, I'll be at the Tribeca Film Festival next week. Yeah. Um, uh, What's your project? Well, I'm in uh, David Duchovny's film. Yeah, Bucky F and Dent. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that also. Yeah, yeah, it'll be very cool. We're here with Joe Pissarro from Forgive Me Father. How you doing, Joe? Doing very well, thank you. This is fun. It's a lot of fun. It's pouring rain out there, but I'm glad we're in here. You're a native New Yorker, aren't you? New Jersey guy. I'm a Jersey Jer guy. Yeah, I still live there. Okay. But I've been working in New York for almost 50 years. Oh, yeah. That's a long time. Yes. <laughs> I'm older than you think. <laughs> How did you like working on this film, Joe? I loved it. Well, Jimmy's a very close friend of mine. And uh, we met 30 years ago doing a movie, and we were instant friends. And, uh, you know, he said to me, I wrote this part for you, but I still had to audition. <laughs> No, uh, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And Jimmy's very sp specific what he wants, you know. So, and you know what? It's kind of cool uh, playing a part of a guy's best friend when you are his best, a close friend, because the connection is, is better. You know, it's, it's really interesting. I was thinking about like Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, not that I'm on their level, but I'm saying like they must have. There's a certain uh, advantage, I think. Oh, you, there's no doubt you guys had chemistry. And you looked very protective over him, honestly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I said, we did a play together almost 20 years ago. We produced it. And, and it's, it, we're in the original cast, the playbook, a play by Keith Redeem, we, uh, four characters. And we, we premiered it in New York. And our names are in the original cast on the play. So we've done a, we've done a, we did a, another movie, not a lot of stuff, but uh, we we worked together. Are you gonna write something together going forward? No. Why not, Joe? He's the writer. No. Just call me, tell me where to be, give me the script, and I'm there. You know, considering you're from Jersey, you seem the most New York in that film to me. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you. That's a that's a compliment. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I got into it. I got into it, yeah. Are you basing your character off of anything in real life? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, no, not really, no. No, I just, I just wanted to uh, help him, help his character. Because I wanted to help him and s try and steer him in the right direction. Obviously, I don't know his intentions. Uh, but uh, it was a blast. It was a blast. 